Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumbo Elite back at it again with another Cheapest Solutions. Now, if you guys do enjoy, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below how excited you are for the rest of Team of the Season. For me personally, I'm trying to pack a La Liga player, um, but I'm super hyped for um, once League One comes out. I really would like a Neymar, Mbappe, Ben Yedder, basically anyone. Uh, would be amazing. But without further ado, we're going to get into it. We got Gael Clichy here. Looks like a semi-decent card. Another French left back. Um, at this point of the game, I don't think it's worth doing. He has 99 stamina. If you like him personally or need him to fit into your team, by all means, feel free to do so. Right now, I believe he's going around 75 to 80k. Let's double check that. Yep, currently I have him at... 78k now let's go into the requirements for him real quick just to take a look so we got Lloris and goal with that 88 rated we got Berkey at the left back position 85 we got Hernandez at that left center back role 84 rated we got Rodri the CDM there to get some chem Onana just for rating at the left uh, at the right back make sure you get the 85 version not the 82 um, we got Sancho at the right mid position Brant at the cam um the right CM spot, I should say, with his cam card. By the way, you don't need positioning changes. We have way more cam than needed. Um, we got Javi Martinez, 84 rated. We got Havertz over here, 85 rated. Um, we got Perisic over here at the left mid spot, 84 rated. And then we got um, Kramerich up top. Now, you can get kind of any 83 rated striker that's Bundesliga over here. Um, I would not, typically for these SBCs, I recommend you use... Um, the Copa players, so the league SVCs. If you wanted to, you could to save like on an 88 rated, but chances are there's no need for you to complete this team, just being honest. Um, so I would recommend against doing the card, but by all means, like normal, grind the Suda Americana, all that stuff if need be. And now I'm excited. Um, I don't know about you guys. Will it show me how I did? I finished gold two this weekend. So this is my highest finish I've ever had on a weekend league. I've probably played five weekend leagues this year and maybe five total um, in past years FIFAs. So I haven't played too much. I'm typically like not that good of a player, but to get gold two for me was really cool. Um, I had two games left as well. So I just took L's, gave people free wins. And this is the sort of thing I love to see. Let me know if you guys enjoy this part of FIFA. I get so many like hate messages from people, which is, you know, the way it ends up going. But like, here's perfect example. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. After I gave him a free win, right? No need to be toxic, right? You just help the community out. If you guys want to start a trend of doing that, I've seen a lot of people do it on Twitter and social media platforms besides Twitter. Um, it's a really cool thing to do. And I think I'm going to start doing that, especially when I'm not going to finish gold one. I had a potential chance to. Um, I wrecked some games where I just late conceded. Um, I had a couple close ones I won. So overall, I think the next goal would be getting gold one for me. Um, but my goal for FIFA 21, not only to increase the amount of transfer profit I have from this year, but I also want to be an elite level player. So I want to hit that elite three eventually. And I think it's possible. It's going to take a lot of hard work. Um, but the goal for the rest of this game, if we can push gold one some weekend, that'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah. I will show you guys the trading methods I've been working on and stuff in another video. But that's going to be it for now. If you guys did enjoy again, feel free to smack the like button. I'll see you next time. It's been your boy Mumbley. I'm out. Peace.